Hi, I'm Reva, and this is Jordan, my beautiful green-eyed model. And here are some useful tips to complement the rarity of green eyes. Let's start by prepping the eyelid with a vintage eye pencil with my 810 brush. Now I'm doing this for two reasons. One, to create a base shadow, and two, to accent a darker color in the outer corner of the eye. I'm using very soft strokes and I'm building this color. The pencil I'm using is called Vintage and it has a beautiful purple hue to it, which is quite complimentary when working with green eyes. Going back and forth between both the eyes until the application is even is very helpful. I've chosen some complimentary colors for green eyes in addition to the vintage eye pencil. These are colors in the red family, which also include violet and warm brown. So let's warm it up with a bit of the vineyard eye color. So I'm lifting up the lid and I'm just stippling the vineyard right on top of the vintage eye pencil on the outer corner of the eye. This definitely makes for added intensity with this color. And again, remember not to go too far outside the outer corner. I'm really working to diffuse these edges to give it a very soft look. The next color I've chosen for this application is Galaxy. I'm using the 800 brush to go ahead and place this color on the lid. So I'm just placing the Galaxy right over top of the vineyard. I like to start close to the lash line and then work my way up into the crease, going back and forth. The last color I've chosen to use is Cashmere. I'm gonna use that as a highlight on the inner part of the lid with my 320 brush. Ever so softly, am I depositing a color on the inner part of the lid. Using my 210 angle brush, I'm using the same technique as I used before with the vintage eye pencil by applying the product to my brush and bringing it along the lower lash line for a drop shadow. I start at the outer corner of the lower lash line and I slowly work my way toward the inner corner. And same to the other side. It's now mascara time. I'm using our famous squeezable cream volumizing mascara by squeezing a little bit onto the palette and my 500 brush. I usually start with the top of the lashes and I begin by going from the root all the way to the tip. I love using this brush for mascara. I have so much control over the product. I can turn it on its side and really get the outside eyelashes on the outer corner. I am being very, very gentle along the bottom. These lashes are a little bit finer, a little bit smaller, so I want to be very careful not to hit the skin with my brush and really separate as carefully as I can. Her eyes are green, they're beautiful, they're popping. Let's get her in a hair and wardrobe.